Hello, Candace Marie Mitchum here with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Silver Hawk Realty, East Idaho. And today I'm joined with Brendan Kraft from American Family Insurance. And we are going to talk about a special endorsement. And you're giving me a quiz. Stay tuned. Hey, Brendan, thank you so much for joining me again today. Yeah, of course. So, Brendan Kraft is here from AMFAM, American Family Insurance, here in Idaho Falls. And we were gonna bring some coverage information to you today and play a little game. You wanna test my knowledge. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. On some insurance, yep. and I'm gonna put on my homeowner hat, not yep. my realtor hat. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let okay. it rip, it's your so, show. Okay, so Candace, you own a house. I do. Okay, you experience some leaking okay. um, within your walls. Okay. Um, so you have a, a leaky pipe that's been leaking Let's say it's been leaking for about a month and you didn't know it. Okay. Um, do you think that is covered under your standard policy? Hmm. Water damage? Water damage. Pipe? Well, I think I'm going to go notice maybe some paint bubbling on the wall. Yep. It's going to tip me off to that maybe. And Here, when you push your drywall, it's... If it's soft, we're in trouble. Yep. Okay. So that's happening. Well, I would say if it's been long standing and it's happening... Probably not, but if it's a sudden loss, I only know this because I had a sudden loss once, um, then that would be covered. So it depends, right? So the key, the key, um, the key word here is that it's happened over the course of like about a month, right? a period of time. Yeah. So um, at that point, it's not sudden, right, or accidental. So it's going to be a no. Okay. It's not going to be covered. Okay. Right. Okay, let me give you another another scenario. Okay. Um, you have your dishwasher uh -huh. that you've had hooked up for years. Okay. And um, one day you notice your flooring, same situation, your flooring is soft. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Something right. behind the, uh, the uh, appliance is leaking and you, you pull back the appliance and the hose came unhooked. Yep. Is that something that's covered? I think I would go back to the same kind of answer. If it happens sudden... And it's a defect in the, the piping, something like that, it would be covered. But if it's just, I jostled it around, it came off, I think that would be my responsibility as a homeowner, right? You are, you are correct. All right. To some extent, okay. right? Okay, so standard, <laughs> standard homeowner's policy. If you watch our last video, I said two words, sudden and accidental. Yes. Right? So if you have something that happens on your property, if it's sudden and accidental, more often than not, it's going to be something that's covered. Right. But if you have water damage that you know, from a leaky pipe from the first example, mm -hmm. and it's been leaking over the course of a month or two months or even even longer, right. that is going to be your responsibility as the homeowner right. to take care of. Right. Same situation with the dishwasher. Yep. But there are certain coverages, just like anything, that right. you can add to your policy that can help bridge that gap for things like that, right? Because water damage claims, mm -hmm. as you know... <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> can, be, can be very, very expensive. Right. So uh, every insurance company calls this a different thing. Um, American Family Insurance mm -hmm. calls this hidden water coverage. Okay. And it covers things like uh, water damage that happens over time. Okay. With the caveat of it having to be hidden. Okay. Okay. That's in the name, hidden water. Right. So it needs to be hidden behind a, an appliance, hidden behind your cabinets, um, in the walls, floors, or ceilings. So it's something um, you couldn't justifiably know about, right? Correct. So I think let's kind of, you know, kind of make it really simple for our brand new homeowners. So if you're suspecting an issue or know about an issue that may have started, don't ignore it, assuming that insurance is going to cover it. Correct. If you reasonably can know about it, you need to address it and take care of the maintenance of your home. Exactly. But if it's in a part of your home that it would basically be impossible for you to know about, that could be the difference there, besides having a completely out of the blue emergent situation. Exactly. Is that fair? So okay. like in the, in the first example where I used the, well, the wall, right? Yeah. So yeah. Say you have a, uh, a wall downstairs mm -hmm. that is, that you never go into the room and it's been leaking. A pipe behind there has been leaking for months. You never go in there. You go in there one day to throw something in there and you see uh -oh. your carpet's wet. Your wall is very squishy. Right. Something like that would be covered under your okay. your the, the in uh, hidden water coverage. Okay. So And the hidden water coverage would be an additional rider to put on top yep. of your policy. Yep. Usually okay. it's, it starts between $40 a year. Um, depending on how much coverage you want mm -hmm. up to about 75 or a hundred dollars a year. Okay. Um, and it's a great, great option if you want to help bridge that gap between mm -hmm. 
um, your normal homeowner's insurance, and then your pocketbook. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. okay. Perfect. Yeah. Now, what about with the dishwasher? Would that fall under the same, under the hidden? Same, same okay. exact coverage. Perfect. The only, the, the, the way to think about this coverage is where is the water damage occurring? Mm -hmm. If it's hidden behind something, mm -hmm. it's going to fall under this hidden water coverage. Okay. And if you don't have um, this coverage, um, then if it's hidden, it's not going to be covered. Yeah. Unless... It's sudden and accidental. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's use an example of the same example with the pipe, but instead instead of it being a slow leak, slow mm -hmm. leak happening over the course of a couple months, it's it just bursts. Frozen pipe bursts. Yeah, uh oh. Bursts. Yeah. That's just going to be covered under your standard right. policy. Okay, so. perfect. Yeah, and let me tell you guys, as unfortunately somebody who's had water uh, events at multiple houses, you want to make sure you're covered. And yes, forty dollars to a hundred dollars a year is nothing to help you sleep good at night. And when you need it, I never want to have an insurance claim again. Can I tell you? Yeah. But yeah. if you need it, this is the guy to help walk you through all of the riders and the additional things you didn't know you need. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So those, those, all the coverages that we've talked about in our last two, this video and our last video, yeah. um, they're great options. Um, and they're not for everybody. You know, sometimes when you, when you live in a brand new house, you know, you may not think you need those coverages mm -hmm. and that's totally fine. But if you live in, you know, Idaho Falls on the numbered streets, like you need those kind of coverages because old houses have leaky pipes. Yeah. Old houses have um, old sewer lines. And, yeah. um, and if you lived in Idaho Falls... In, uh, in last year in spring, yeah, and, and the number streets were underwater. So well, and I wasn't even in the number streets, and I still had water events. Yep, and true. I would even say, you know, even with new construction, the reality is you can have a manufacturer defect in a piece of pipe that went in. You can have the groundwater that comes up. You can have any kind of things, which is why you get insurance. And it's always the day after an event when you go, I wish I would have. Yeah. Exactly. And so to avoid that, just call Brendan now. And he will walk you through it. So I can't sing your praises enough. So even with that, we're talking about homes, right? Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of times what we talk about. But you offer insurance on other things too. For example, we have our vehicle coverage with you yep. as well. Auto insurance. Mm -hmm. yep. We do auto, um, home insurance, and life insurance. And we will do some small business insurance. Mm -hmm. Um, just depends on your business, but those okay. are the things that we, we focus on. Okay, perfect. And one of the things that I always like to do is when I like to support small businesses right here locally, shop local, support local, but I also like to utilize our small business owners that get involved with the community. So can you educate our viewers a little bit about the different things that you do here in the community? Because I know you and I are a part of some of the same organizations yeah, as so, well. So you, I mean, I think we're a part of almost every single I know. organization <laughs> together. We kind of see each other <laughs> everywhere, but... So. We're, uh, we're a part of, uh, both of us are a part of Rotary, newly mm -hmm. part of Rotary. I just joined Rotary a couple of months ago, right. um, the Idaho Falls Rotary, um, and I'm super excited to help them this year. Um, the, the Idaho Falls Rotary is the one that puts on the duck races, mm -hmm. yep. uh, which helps with the, um, the green belt yep. and everything there. So I'm super excited to help those guys with that. We're both a part of the the chamber. Yep, chamber um, of commerce. Very very um, active in the chamber. Um, can I give a quick shout out to Absolutely. the Idaho Falls Rescue Mission? Let her rip. This okay. is your time. Perfect. So <laughs> next month, March, uh, March 23rd, they have their walk in the cold, mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to be a sponsor of that event. We're going to have a booth there and everything. We're going to be giving away something there. I don't know what it is yet, but we'll have a giveaway there. And then people can enter in and, and walk. They can run. Mm -hmm. um, they're doing a 5K. I uh, um, challenge everybody to get involved with that. They do a lot of great things in the community as far as um, homeless um, people are concerned. Mm -hmm. So um, they're a great organization, and I'm, I'm looking forward to, to supporting them this year with their walk in the cold. Yeah, and they're giving a hand up to those that need it, right? Exactly. It's not a handout. It's a hand up and lots of different resources to help them become self-sufficient again. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. That's awesome. So perfect. So if you're looking for somebody who, again, is local, they're really knowledgeable and willing to be at the drop of a dime on a phone call with you, helping to walk you through it, and also involved in the community, I would highly recommend having a conversation with Brendan and see if that's going to be the right fit for you, your property, and also life insurance and car insurance. Yes. All right. All right.